Safety fears around Kuberg's Unit 2 were put to rest after the National Nuclear Regulator granted a fresh 20-year license extension. It comes just months after Unit 1 was granted the same, securing the future of Africa's only nuclear plant well beyond 2040. This license means that uh, we have uh, an opportunity to um, derive uh, electricity um, uh, supply from um, these two uh, uh, reactors, which give us in total 1,860 megawatts. Uh, it will going to ensure that uh, nuclear continues to be part of uh, the base load capacity. A pillar of South Africa's energy system, Kuburg now sits at the center of an ambitious new nuclear build program. The plan includes a new power station, domestic uranium development and reviving South Africa's pebble bed modular reactor after 15 years. If we get this done properly, that will make us one of the, of the players in the market and for both the technology itself and also for the fuel itself. You know, so remember that next are used to produce fuel for Quebec. So we can then leverage that from a PBMR point of view. If we can finalize that fuel, you know, then we can offer it to the world. South Africa was once a pioneer in small modular reactors, but has since been outpaced by China. China uh, is a strong contender. Uh, they have a, a strong nuclear program in their home country. Uh, they have the experience and the resources uh, to deliver and they seem to be able, certainly in their home country, to deliver at, uh, at, at, you know, quickly, uh, quicker than certainly the European and American uh, vendors. We are seeking opportunities to collaborate with China and this goes uh, with the other countries as well that are advanced in nuclear, um, in the nuclear space. Uh, I'm talking about France, I'm talking about the USA. So we really are looking at resuscitating all those meaningful partnerships. South Africa's nuclear vision isn't just about keeping the lights on, it's about reclaiming its place at the forefront of global research and innovation as the world's appetite for nuclear power surges. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town.